As Mr. Rogers once said, the most important people in a child's life are that child's parents and teachers. And that means parents and teachers are the most important people in the world. That is an amazing quote. Now, any teacher can tell you it's a job that doesn't end in the classroom, buying supplies with their own money, sometimes even putting their families on hold. But my next guest, Zoe Henry, went way above and beyond the call of duty to help one of her students. When the single mom saw a six-year-old in desperate need of a stable home, she knew she had to do something. I had subbed at the school the year before. They called me and asked if I wanted to take over this class. And I, of course, jumped at the situation. My friend at the school said that I was going to have her foster daughter in my class. I was in foster care when I was four. Then I got out when I was five. Then I got back in foster care when I was six. It was hard, but I was also excited to start a new school. That first meeting, man, I'll never forget it. She was all dressed up and ready to come be in the second grade. When I first met my second grade teacher, I loved her smile. I loved her classroom. I have memories of her being so silly, and she just was very spunky, very passionate, very fun. We thought she was only going to be there for about 30 days. The family that was supposed to get her backed out. I never knew my amount of time when I was at each foster house. Everything changed, and then I just moved to another home. And like, just kept going like that. I didn't want her to go to another stranger's house. And I said, please let me have her. <sighs> Two days later, Lorelai went home with her teacher, and they are here with the Tampan. Please welcome Zoe and Lorelai Henry <laughs> to the show. What does that mean? I'm not crying. You are. I'm already <laughs> crying. I'm trying to keep myself together here. Zoe, when you said you didn't want her to go with anyone else, you, you just couldn't bear to see her without a family, specifically you as family. What was that like? How do you explain this? I was so in love with this little girl and knew what being in foster care was like and so how much trauma she had already been through and just knew that if I could have her, I could love her and, uh, you know. How do you describe that need to want to be more in her life? Well, I mean, as a teacher, you want to make all your students have a better life. Yeah. But when I had her in my classroom, I mean, she... I knew the trauma and I knew the difficulties she had already faced and I just, I had the connection with her. I wanted her. I knew she was mine. She knew she was mine. Oh. <laughs> well, Laura, like, first of all, let me just tell you how adorable you look right now in your <laughs> national television debut. When you heard Zoe say, I, I want you to come live with us, me, I want to be your parent. What did you think? I was surprised. I didn't, I didn't expect her to say that. I just, I don't know what I expected. I didn't know what my future was gonna be like. I probably, sometimes at night when I went to bed, I worried about if I had a bad future or not. Oh. And I tried my best to just go to bed. And yeah, every night I missed my bio mother. It was really hard to move to a different home. I heard Zoe say you had the most beautiful smile, and you still do, by the way. Yeah. Um, you just warmed her heart, <laughs> and I saw you bake, and you love all of these things. I'm sure it was something you were ready to share with a family yeah. as well. And then it became real. Mm -hmm. What was it like that first night when you were able just to go home with Zoe and say, OK, yeah, this is where yeah, I'm going to be? Um, what was that like? It was like a surprise. Once I saw the house, I was immediately excited. And I remember when she showed me my room, she even had a, a big board across the door and it said my name on it. Oh. And also uh, she had her other children, she had her other children carrying a sign that said a welcome more like welcome home. <sighs> Yeah. 
we know that the process wasn't easy, right? I mean, we're on TV and we're giving you the condensed version of this. It's a two year journey of hard work. And when we come back, we'll learn about the moment their family became official. A teacher who went above and beyond for the love of a child after the break. When I wake up in the morning, I think of the person who adopted me, the person who was my teacher. I just look at her and I think, gosh, she's, you know, she's really a blessing. And I just love her so much. My favorite thing to do with Lorelai is, is cuddling up next to her and talking about our day and all our dreams and what we want to do together in the future. I love every day I spent with my mom. But the most favorite day I had with her it was when I was adopted. We were so excited about the, the adoption ceremony, but when we found out it was going to be virtual, we made a big sign to put in the background. It was an amazing day. Understanding these responsibilities, do you wish to adopt Laurel? Yes. yes. <laughs> Every night when my mom packs me to bed, I think about how lucky I am to have her. Welcome back. Lorelai Henry is in foster care for 1,445 days, almost four years of her life. But as you saw in that video, it all changed when her second grade teacher, Zoe Henry, went far and beyond the job of a teacher and adopted the adorable 10-year-old. And they're here with us. Um, Zoe, you have five children of different ages, single mom, and then you say six. So you're six, you're busy, and you're teaching. Uh, <laughs> it is amazing. But this process took two years, and then in November, it became official. How did that feel? Even though it was on a Zoom, how did it feel? <laughs> it felt amazing. It felt amazing? Yeah, it felt really real. It is real, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Listen, there's a special photo that you took that day um, when you officially became mother and daughter, and we wanted to celebrate. This is the picture. Yeah. That moment. Um, especially, Zoe, hearing you say that the best part of y'all's day is cuddling and, and telling each other about the day. And we wanted to commemorate that with something special that you would put in your house, your home. This is the photo. Thank you. Of that. Now, that's Nella Designs. Create beautiful drawings for you to hang in your home. Nella Love Designs, it. thank you for this. Thank it you. is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to hand this to you because um, she told us that she had a great yeah. imagination and you love playing games and art. And I can tell you got style. You're going <laughs> to give me a run for my money with the style game here. Our friends at Kid Made Modern and Spin Master sent you a $1,000 worth of art, oh craft, and games. So creative, Kid Made Modern specializes in fun arts and crafts, and they believe that creativity is in everyone. And all we need is a little inspiration from colorful shrink art jewelry and paper mache unicorns to your very own young lady photo journal complete with glitter pins, gems, and stickers. You and your mom will have so much fun creating and celebrating <laughs> your unique imaginations together. Then, spin. Master is known for their innovative toys that deliver the magic of play, and there is nothing more magical than the one and only Kinetic Sand Sandis Factory Set and the Gold Glam Unique Nail Salon to go with that cute dress you're wearing <laughs> that lets you customize your own mani pedis. Plus, everyone's favorite guessing game is back with a new blast off band and headbands blast off and they're fun. Beat the parents you love that trivia game. Lorelai, I know you're excited to get all of these things. Look, Lorelai is plotting which game that she's gonna play first. She was like, no mom, no, this is serious, serious. We thank you so much for sharing your story. It is just so special. Shout out to every teacher in the world who's in our audience who's watching. And Zoe, thank you so much. I, I just, my heart belongs to both of you.